A nationwide ban on evictions has been extended by another month to help tenants who are unable to pay rent. KSVY reporter Colette Ngo has more on what this means on a state level for California's eviction moratorium. As the Biden administration extended the ban on evictions until July 31st, a big push is underway for Governor Gavin Newsom to do the same. If the moratorium expires by the end of the month, many are worried about what could happen next. It's not just tenants. Landlords are struggling too. Every single time they extend this moratorium, you just feel like, oh my gosh, I could just make it to the end of this. On the phone, I spoke to Christine Minkinen, the landlord of an Atascadero rental property. She has accumulated more than $25,000 in expenses from the eviction protection for renters. To make ends meet, she and her husband were forced to dip into their savings and took on an additional six jobs. We've been taking on all kinds of extra jobs. He's doing Uber, Lyft, Grubhub. You can only work so many jobs so long before you're completely burnt out. Dennis Balsamo is an attorney at law representing both landlords and tenants. He says local landlords can also attest to the added stress the eviction ban has brought on to them. Well, I've seen a lot of happy tenants and I've seen a lot of unhappy landlords. The moratorium was never for the benefit of any landlord. It was strictly for the benefit of tenants. The current legislation prohibits landlords from evicting tenants who pay at least 25 percent of their rent. It also provided landlords with rent subsidies with 80 percent of the total amount of past due rent from low income tenants who fell behind during the pandemic. The rent's not forgiven. They still owe it. So when the moratorium's over, the landlord could sue them to collect all the rents. In turn, Governor Gavin Newsom is negotiating with legislators about a $5.2 billion plan to pay landlords the entirety of unpaid rent. This would give renters a clean slate. I'm not really hopeful because everything that they've come up with so far is all about the tenants. California lawmakers are currently negotiating the expiration of the moratorium, but it's likely that California will follow Biden's lead and an announcement of the last extension will be announced in the coming days. In San Luis Obispo, Coletno, KSBY News.